Hello everyone and welcome to TechSynth, the YouTube channel where technology is simplified. In today's video I'm going to be explaining exactly why you should not buy an Intel Celeron or any computer that has an Intel Celeron in it in 2020. But before I get into the video I'm so close to 40 subscribers so if you wouldn't mind subscribing with notifications on that would be great. And with that being said let's get into the video. So you may be wondering why the Intel Celeron is so bad and the reason is this. Manufacturers use Celeron processors to balance the cost of low-end laptops. This is not very good, as opening more than one page in Chrome will slow your computer down to a crawl. On YouTube, you can watch videos at 1080p, but it will constantly buffer, which means you'll have to bear watching the videos in 720p resolution. Oh, and good luck trying to play modern games on it, because it definitely won't work. My old computer was a HP desktop, which had an Intel Celeron processor in it and after using it for three years to do my homework on, I really do not recommend it at all. As you can see from the benchmark test, even the best versions of the Intel Celeron really lack the power you need for everyday computing. And when you compare the prices of the Intel Celeron and the Intel Pentium, the Intel Pentium is a much better choice, considering it is only roughly £20 more. There isn't much more to mention about the Intel Celeron, apart from it is the worst processor to ever be released from Intel. So don't buy it, buy an Intel Pentium instead. Before I end this video, I have a quick announcement to make. The TechSynth YouTube channel has evolved, and I'm now on Instagram, so if you want to follow my Instagram account, links to that will be in the description. And with that being said, make sure you like this video, and I will see you in the next one.